Yeah, like this little rock crossing up here, I, I don't know what happened exactly, it was before my time, but he like went off and rolled like 30, 40 feet down his goalie. Wow. <laughs> was a very quick but meaningful trip. As some of you may know, I shattered my femur here back in 2013 at Rebel Rampage. This is my first time back ever since. So that was pretty mellow. Then you cruise in here and it's like uphill and blind. Then you have to turn. That was like the gnarliest part, having to like turn off it, come on after the landing. Yeah. Come check it out from the lip. It's crazy, you see how like the cliff comes out? A few inches too far to the right. My pedal hit the edge right there. Fuck, I forgot how sketchy this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. The gap that nearly killed me. Landing way down there, right against the cliff. It's pretty wild being back out here. That's a great way of breaking your pedals, just smashing them on rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's two ways of breaking the pedals. It was really cool going back to the 2013 Rampage site and seeing all the old lines and checking out the old gap that nearly killed me and just seeing it in person and having a new perspective on it. It made me realize like how in the zone I was during Rampage that year and like how ridiculous and sketchy that gap is. There's no way I would even hit it now if I was invited back and I was feeling like 100% on my bike. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of neat to go back there and just have a fresh perspective of the place and build some good memories while I'm out here and kind of erase the old ones. Cheers, Utah. It was a good time. Can't wait to come back.